So today we'll be learning about how to calculate the real return uh, or the real daily yield of uh, money market funds based on the risks that are published in the newspaper on a daily basis. So this can be the standard uh, daily nation business, daily ETC. And we'll be using the rates that were published in this case by business daily on 13 February 2019. And the first fund that uh, I received from one of my readers was a CIC group. And this is a fund where this is a chama that contributes cash and then they use the money market fund as an emergency fund uh, for the investments. So as to mean that before they decide what they are going to do with the investment, they will put their money in a money market fund so that it can be earning a higher return with the end with the liquidity of a current account. It's a, it's a very nice way of managing a chama because again, if somebody uh, wants to withdraw from the chama, you can easily uh, get their funds back within uh, one to three days. So that's an excellent way of managing a chama and kudos to them. Um, and so what, what I only noted about CIC is the statement that I received from the reader was not password protected, but it's in PDF, which is at least greater than maybe Microsoft Word. Uh, so how do you calculate the real daily yield? So you would take the amount, the last the last amount. So in this case, is that that first December 2018, they had that amount, which is this amount here. Then you look at the gross interest that was earned subsequently. So in this case, it was that number, which is this number here. And then have the formula here calculates based on that, what would be the withholding tax. So CIC have got it exactly right, which is nice, uh, which would mean that the net monthly return before withholding tax is that. And that's a formula. I'll, sh I'll try and share these worksheets at the end of the lessons. Then the net annual return before withholding taxes is 9.67, which compares favorably with uh, what was published by, by Business Daily at that date. However, money market funds don't tell you the net return after withholding tax. Because again, they're trying to sell you uh, a higher return looks nice in the newspapers. So in the case of CIC, their net return in the year, as in the money that will go into your bank account is 8.22%, which is a great return because again, it compounds. And actually, very few asset classes were able to return 8.22% last year. The stock exchange, for example, where most people rush to... Uh, got negative returns, hence the point I was, put, I was making in regard to the risk to your capital when you invest in, in the stock exchange. Uh, when I look at something like real estate, it's very hard to get this yield of 8.22% in terms of the rental yield. So I think the asset classes that actually beat this uh, would have been the investments directly in the government bond all the treasury bills, because then again, you don't have to have the management fees. And we can even use my nice model to see how much if you invest at, if you compound at 8.22, now this is net of withholding tax and net of fees, how that would grow over time. So we'll come here and we will uh, first input there the 8.22. We are assuming at age 30. And then I'll assume the contribution that these guys have started with that contribution. So, wow, I need to expand everything. Um, so if this chama just decided to invest their money in a money market fund, Sorry, and I need to remove that. And I need to change that to that because we are assuming they have started with an investment of 1 million and let's assume they don't invest anything extra. So let's look at a magic amount like when they will retire. 
million, you see? That's not that's not bad money to retire at. So that's the power of compounding. Now, if you decide, for example, to say each member, let's say they are each contribute 10,000 and they are five members, so that's 50,000. It's the power of groups. Mm -hmm. After five years, they have five million. That's a good amount that they can use to do some investments. After 10 years, they have 11 million and so on and so forth. In 58, in 20 years, they have 35 million. So the beauty about investing in any asset class is actually consistency of your contributions and then allowing it to compound. For example, obviously, if you go to the stock market, stock markets over time have returned a higher amount than any other asset class. So you can imagine if you had invested in the stock market and you got annualized return after maybe 10 years of 12%, you can see the impact, it's now 15. So just food for thought. We'll return that nicely to what was there. Can act as motivation for that charmer. Okay, so that's how you calculate for CIC. And this is the concept we'll use for all these other funds. So the next reader sent me the statement for Zimele. This is how it looks like. Uh, as I mentioned, I didn't like the fact that there are reversals in the statement. Uh, that means somebody is not serious in terms of how they manage these entries. Um, and then again, it missed withholding tax information so i had to calculate that on myself which actually the reader pointed out as one of the cons of zimele uh, and the fact that she had to email them for them to uh, credit the withholding taxes um, and then the other thing i need to note before i take you through the calculation is you see there is there are a lot of ins and outs so obviously this is the best estimate return you want something clean like this if you want to know the true return so but it's a good estimate so the starting investment in this case i took the 144 so if you can see here 144 which is that amount and then i deducted i added the 20k and the 2300 that was contributed during the month uh, giving you the starting investment that's the gross interest that was earned which is there calculated withholding tax withholding tax using my formula there so it means the net annual return before withholding tax for the mail is 9.51 while the published rate uh, was 9.56 so actually it's actually a very nice estimate because then uh, the two compare and it means then that the return that the Zimele uh, and even CIC have shown in the newspaper is net of fees. So that's good. Then they are, they are showing the, the, the true daily yield. Uh, the only thing that is missing obviously is the withholding taxes, but now you have you are empowered in how to get the true return of what gets to your bank account. Let's look at someone else. So we look at uh, Britam. So Britam actually uh, really amazed me in terms of the nature of their statement. It's very detailed and the password is complex because the account number is not a, a four digit number as I've seen with the other uh, money market funds. Um, they obviously have the withholding tax column that was missing with Zimele, which is nice. And then I like that they're empowering their users. So, like definition of terms, very few people know about these things. Well, maybe offer prices and bid prices don't apply to money market fund, but they do apply to balanced funds and equity funds. So it's good that they are, they are defining these things. They, uh, this is excellent. Um, and I also like that they have this caveat here that the published yields for the Britam money market fund are net of fees, but the gross, but gross of withholding tax. So at least they're being open about that. Uh, interest is is credited to your account based on the net yields, which excludes both fees and uh, taxes. So that's a nice thing. So I mentioned the security of the statement is is excellent. Uh, very detailed statement and that they define their, their terms for their clients. So let's look at how I calculated the real daily yield. 
in this case, uh, the starting investment is that 572, and there's a formula here. So that 574, it's 66.22 is that number. And then I've, de I've adjusted it with all the entries during the year, the ins and outs during the month. So that amount is that amount, the 100,000, the 334, and the 27,000. And then the gross interest is 3,000 and 10. 0.25 with a withholding tax of 446.91 as per the statement. But I noted that uh, when I take the gross interest uh, and then subject it to 15%, I get 451.54 compared to the 446.91 they have there. So hence my comment here is that an error in withholding tax calculation. Then the other interesting thing that came, and I can't believe it, uh, after reading this statement here, the net annual return is 6.31, while as the published rate is 8.32, which would mean then that the published rate is gross of fees. So, meaning, because uh, this difference is like 2%, which is the industry average, average for money market funds. So hmm, I won't see another brief time statement to conclude, but based on what I have currently, looks like they have published a fee that is gross of their, uh, a return that is gross of their fees. Hence, to get the true brief time daily yield, you'd have to take what is published in the newspaper minus 2% to get 6.31. And then obviously with the knowledge that I've given you, um, deduct with holding tax. So that formula looks at the gross interest and minus the withholding tax over the starting investment uh, to get the net monthly return after withholding tax. And then this multiplies that by 12 to get a return of 5.36. This is what gets to your bank, which is not a very high figure. Um, and then the next fund that uh, the reader sent, my reader sent was Seriani Asset Managers who are affiliated with Cyton. Um, these ones, their statement was in word format and didn't have a password protection. Uh, it was missing withholding tax information, so I had to calculate it on my own. And then for the person who sent this to me, there were obviously ins and outs. So this is a best estimate return. Um, so the calculation is again similar and you can do this for your other fund managers and then inform us on the Telegram group uh, of the real yield. Uh, but in this case, the starting investment is uh, that 1,587,000, which is this amount here, as at that first December, and then the gross interest. Well, I decided to add the 361, okay, minus the 1,000 first, the 1 million. So it's that figure minus 1 million to get what was there during the month, which is that amount there. The interest, I decided to add 361 and uh, the 926 because I don't know maybe they do buy like two two interest payments in a month or something like that but that's how I worked it out so I assume that this is the interest for January just that it's paid in two tranches uh, the withholding tax was not there so I had to calculate it uh, that's 193 and that would mean they have a net monthly return of 1.15, which if you multiply by 12 is about 13.84%, which is an excellent return. And this is money that goes to your bank. The only question I have for Seriani is how are they able to offer such returns? Because if you look at the next uh, lesson that I have is when you're dealing with money market funds, you know that they're supposed to invest in short term instruments that is t bills commercial papers fixed deposits and so on and so forth and they're supposed